Half it licking. And hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Chad Minker's Collection Adventure. We're going to pick up where we left off from. We're going to attend our garden. Where we'll do two things for the house. One of them, we're going to go with the old bunch of rare seed packets. Another, we're going to go for a Hoover. Not very exciting, I know. But when it comes round to the other aspiration, perfectly pristine. The opposite of fabulously filthy. And we'll appreciate having a Hoover. We're going to open up these seed packets. See if we can get something new for our garden. It's one of the sort of long form collections. Something that we're going to have to take a bit of time to complete. Same with the fishing. Not to work on them over a course of time. We've got another new bean. Pop that into our stump. We've got a couple of prints from our microscope. So we'll get them popped out. We do indeed have a few new plants. So we'll get them popped out. And get them planted. Soon enough, we'll be able to complete these collections, the gardening, the fishing. Other things seem to take a lot less time. I think with each DLC and expansion and things like that, we tend to favour some collectibles, some collections. We'll add new things to. The fish and the flowers I think we have a lot of things added to them. We're coming back to Strangerville after finishing the story. It's giving us a pop up. So everyone in town should love us now. And hang out in our favourite bar. Meet everyone who's happy to see us. We've got our royalties coming through making some cash off the videos we're making. When we go for it, the curio stall, where everything is free. For you, sir, everything is free. You don't have to pay. You're the hero of Strangerville. You can have whatever you want. It's on the house. Wow, what respect, we love it. So we're gonna get all these little collectibles that we avoided getting before. Just one of each thing. And a bunch of bugs. Gonna steal another ceiling light. Gonna try requesting a life extension. See if that turns back the clock on our age. We don't really need it, it's not vital at the moment. But just to test it out. Yep, so that's another way we can turn back the clock. I want to stay as a young adult. And get all this done. So when we're finished doing the, either the skills or the collections or the aspirations, then we can move on and do uni. And some of the aspirations want you to get jobs. So it's more likely we'll finish all the skills first. But at that stage, we'll go to uni. Having three things to be getting on with is enough. So we're over in the eco neighborhood. We're going to speak to poor old Tina Tinker. That we stole her workbench out from underneath her. She should be our chum. In theory, they have uh, similar interests. We both like dumpster diving and crafting things. chatting away to her about fabrication. She's told us how to make a fabricated wall light. So that'll be good. Save us needing to keep uh, stealing and buying lights at the flea market. And then fabricate our own at home. And get a bunch of magical items. 
while we're here, we're going to try and have a look for some tomes. We should almost have them all by now, I should think. We're looking for some seashells and some Solani treasures. Yeah, inventory's looking full again. Hopefully we'll be able to complete a collection and get it to put away in the house. Take a lovely photograph and then get on with some fishing. Managed to catch another treasure. We're not doing very well at beach combing for them. We're doing better at fishing for them. <laughs> we'll get these tomes put away. Get our inventory tidied up a little bit. We're being requested to make another video from the old PR agency. So we'll get on that. Once we've rearranged the garden a little bit. We've got this stuff out of our inventory. Uh, this is a good way to get fame, a little bit of uh, cash. As we work on them, if we edit them, we can raise that skill. Still feel bad about accidentally getting a skill item when we weren't due one. Never mind. We're working our robotics for a little bit. We're we'll getting invited down to the flea market. Gonna get a little light, a little lantern. Since it's our mission to buy something. And we'll do the usual. Look for posters. See if we can find a snow globe. Eat some food. That's another thing we have to do, is eat all the different uh, recipes all around the city. Very sad. Somebody's died. See, this is a problem with being friends with lots of different people. And then, uh, yeah, over time, keep resetting your age. Sadly, they keep popping their clogs. And he's sad all the time. I don't want that. Nice to get five grand on return for investments. I presume that's through Bess. From all those one simoleons we've been given her. I don't know if Bess is out of it now. Maybe there's just a limit on how much you can invest. Quite sure how that works. Yeah, we're going to try and go to different locations. Go fishing. Breaking open this uh, abandoned mine shaft. Get through here and get to the Forgotten Grotto. It's another place that doesn't have a toilet, but you can look for frogs. You can. Uh, get some plants and then go some fishing. I think there's two places to go fishing. Yeah, no dig sites, they seem to all be plants. And they all seem to be out of season. Never mind. There's another place to go fishing. Try and get a few more new fish added to our collection. to the Humour and Hijinx Festival. Order some more food. Another recipe done. Get another snow globe. Pretty sure we've already got this one, but can trade them with other people. So I'm sure we'll be able to complete the collection that way. Ted appears and starts playing with this uh, teddy bear and I realise, hey, that's not Ted. We've got a doppelganger. This guy. 
Yeah, I don't know if he's intentionally stealing our style. Try to look like this. He'd certainly do well as a celebrity lookalike. We steal this piano. We've got the digital one already, but hey, why not? Steal that entire room if we can. Can't hurt to have too many musical instruments. So we made it up to being a B lister. Earned enough fame points. So we'll have to go into the little store. We'll choose a fame perk with our fame points. A few different things we could do. And an all nighter. Have an established name. Give him back. Can donate objects. Don't really want to donate objects. Ah, look at him. Enjoying life. His beautiful pad. He's got passive income coming from his royalties. Loving life. Got more plants growing there in the entrance way. I'm not sure how they get there. I'm sure people are sneaking past and planting things on the edge of our lot. We're playing guitar and neglecting poor whiskers. Poor thing. It's the third time now. An empty bowl. an eye on that. Just too many things to be keeping up with. Between the garden and Patchy and Mr. Moo and Whiskers. And all Ted's own needs. Yeah, it's easy to fall behind. You neglect one or both or all. I'm gonna pop out these lava lamps we got from the curio stall. I like how they light up the space around them with the different colours. I'll try and find spaces to pop them out. Pop them out outside. Move things around. Another shelf that we've got. Get our piano here. Hopefully, we'll be able to walk around it, get through the doors, and still be able to sit there. I'll try that once we've uh, finished popping all this stuff out. Make sure we can use it. Yeah, it seems to be fine. Just made it up to level five of the piano skill now. Want to keep uh, crafting computer chips mechanisms. Save up enough things to build a robot buddy. I think you can get a robot arm as well. We'll get that at some point. So we're trying to complete this celebrity aspiration since we've made it to level 3. We want a celebrity hangout. Played some violin for some people. Tina's asking what, we should, what she should do about having a baby. So we've been friends forever. Yep. On you go, you go last. You don't need my permission. Dafty. So we're going to check out another bar. Just cruising to different neighborhoods. Looking for places to go fishing. A lot of these places I've never been to before really gone through the game this far. I've got some new expansions and stuff for it. I've played focusing on that expansion. Quite like the paranormal one. With the ghosts. That was quite fun. Maybe at some point. 
if we've got enough stuff to necessitate having an actual normal sized house and not a small house. Might change the lock traits and have a haunted house for a while. Managed to make it up to level 8 just by playing games on our phone. We've lit this bonfire, we're doing some poi, having a good time. Just try to stay away from the home and all the responsibilities and all the having to look after everyone. Just chilling here, playing violin for no one. That's what he likes to do now is just play violin when he's left to his own devices. That's fine. It's all XP. Managed to find another easel. Do a paint from reference. I love these. Oh, and it's a masterpiece. Don't really want to take it home though. Don't really have room for large paintings at home. So we'll sell it. Keep our fame level up. It does get us nine grand as well. That's pretty good. Keep us going. dumpster diving. Usually when you spawn here and go dumpster diving people beat you to it and you have to wait in a queue. Here's our twin again. The doppelganger is now just gonna show up. <laughs> as long as he's not trying to bump us off and take our place. He could definitely be our stunt double when we get into the uh, acting career. It's a long way down the track. He'll be old by then. Maybe play her father. <laughs> yeah, he could definitely be a useful friend. So we've completed our freelance botanist by coming back to the lot with a fully grown cow plant. That seemed to be what he wanted to trigger it. Switch to something else. Right, Eco Innovator. Got to do a neighborhood action plan. Never really checked that out before. It turns out you can only do it on certain days, so we'll wait for the right time. Managed nice to get up to level 6 robotics. We had some sort of mini accident, and uh, now we're dazed and confused. There's a cooldown on it for you to lose that dazed mood lip. So the time is right to vote on neighbourhood action plans. It turns out that we can't vote on any because all four slots are being used up. So we have to repeal something. Get rid of free love. It doesn't matter which one we pick really. I think if we repeal one and then vote to put the same one back again. I think that'll satisfy it. Yeah, I've never uh, looked into that before. I presume I could uh, vote for eco appliances or something to get cheaper bills for having eco stuff on your lot. I think that could benefit us. Got enough going on. Get around to it at some point. I'm burning to death again. It's super hot. He's burning shorts and t-shirt, but yeah, it's still hot for him. So we're getting our collectibles. Get more postcards. Complete the collection. We've still got room on our cork boards for them. So we'll keep going. Until there is no more room. So we're going to speak to people and try and get our repeal through. Try and get people on side. Get some signatures from people. 
help us get to know the people in the neighborhood as well. And the friendlier we are with them, the more likely they are to go with us. We can sway them politically and doing what we want with our influence as a celebrity. Our smooth talking. It's neighborhood brawl, so yeah, they love it if we scrap with them. It's all in good fun and friendship. It's definitely a strange way to show it, but if that's what they like, that's what they like. So we're gonna make a donation. Then we're gonna hang up on a prank caller. Not quite sure what that one's about. We'll come back next time, pick up where we left off. Until then, Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.